Hi there, this is Keith. I am going to show you really quickly how to create a YouTube playlist and enable it so that you can auto upload to that playlist. It's a very convenient time saver, especially for teachers who have many different classes. All right, so the first thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to your YouTube channel, make sure that you're logged in to your YouTube and you're going to come to playlists. You're gonna go to new playlist and you're gonna give your playlist a title. This one I'm just going to call Test. You could choose the viewability right underneath the title, public or unlisted. I'm just gonna keep it public. And then you're just gonna click Create. All right, now, I don't have to have any videos in this playlist yet. I can, but I don't have to. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna to come to where it says Playlist Settings, and you're going to click the Auto Add tab at the top. And once you've clicked the Auto Add tab, you're going to click Add Rule. You could change the rule to something in the title, something in the description and contents, or something that you have tagged. For right now, I'm going to keep it as the title. And what this means is that any video that I upload from this point on that has the word test in it will go automatically to this playlist. So for example, let's pretend that I teach a class and the teacher's name is Jones. If I type in the word Jones, any video that I upload that has the word Jones in it, this could be Jones Mathematics Unit or Mr. Jones Locker, uh, I can, it will automatically go to this playlist. So I save it and basically I'm done. I can go back into playlist settings I can auto add, I can add more rules at this point. Title contains Mr. I could add title contains Joneses with S apostrophe and so on and so forth. I could change it to the description, school, etc., etc. Save it, and there you go. If you've already have some videos, and you can see right now, I have a video that matches one of the rules to this playlist. I can check on that and any videos that I have that match the description will automatically be added to that playlist. But the nice thing again about this is anytime I from now on upload this video, upload any video that contains the word Jones or Mr. or anything else that I made for the rule, it will automatically go into this playlist. So at this point I would go to my playlists. I could get into the playlist by clicking on view full playlist and when I go to share it creates the URL of this playlist. I can copy this and I can share this out to my teachers. They can then add this to their website and then anytime there's a new video that gets uploaded, there's nothing else for you to do. It goes to the top of the playlist and it's done. So to give you an idea of what this would look like and why you would use it, let me show you a couple different examples. Here's some of the created playlists of one of our PE teachers. And you can see they're, they're named by the classroom teachers names. And what it looks like and why you'd want to use this is because here is her old site. This is last year's site. And what this PE teacher did was she would go through and she, she created pages for every single one of her classes. She would then video the class, for example, Mrs. Carroll and she would video the class doing their activities for the day. She would then upload it to YouTube and then have to come to her site and insert the video into that specific page on the site. So it's a lot of work after videoing. Fast forward to 2014, this is her current site and what she has instead of having all of the classrooms listed down on the left hand side, she simply has Mrs. Farrell's YouTube playlist. And what that does is it brings it to here. So then all the teachers will be here instead of having to go page by page, find, your find the name of the teacher and insert the video. Videos automatically get done. There's nothing else she needs to do after she's done with the video.